Hi class, today you're on module three, lesson 18. So you are going to order three, three digit numbers from least to greatest or greatest to least. So remember least is like the smaller number and greatest is the higher number, okay? And then greatest would be the highest number all the way down to the smallest number. So when you order them, it means that you're ordering them in a certain order. They're not just randomly in a list. Does that make sense? So when you are ordering them, let's say you have three numbers. In order to figure out which one's the lowest number or which one is the greatest number, you want to look in the hundreds. Okay, always look in the, the digit in the hundreds place first. And then you can look in the tens. You go to the tens place if the digit in the hundreds place is the same. Okay, then you would go to the tens. If the digits in the tens are the same, you go to the ones. So you go hundreds, then you go to the tens, and then you go to the ones. So let's practice that right now. You're going to have to order numbers from least to greatest in standard form. So what that means is you have to go from the lowest number to the highest number, and you need to write the numbers in standard form. Remember, standard form is the same as number form like this. Here's an example, 813, the way we're used to seeing regular numbers written. Okay, so you have to rewrite it. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you might have unit form or you might have expanded form. And when you reorder them, you need to write the numbers in the standard form. You do not copy the unit form or the expanded form. You write the numbers in the correct order in standard form. So let's take a look at this first list. There are three numbers that have three digits, 427, 316, and 571. So, like I said, you want to look in the hundreds place first. So I have four in the hundreds here, three in the hundreds here, and five in the hundreds here. They are not the same. So I can just look at here. I don't need to go to the tens place because none of those digits are the same. So remember, I'm going from least to greatest, meaning I need to find the lowest number first. So I have 400s, 300s, and 500s. 300s is the lowest. So I'm going to write 316 in standard form. And then this is next, 427. And then 571 is last because that is the greatest or the highest number. Okay? Now, let's go to this next one. Since I have different forms of numbers, for example, here I have unit form and here I have expanded form. Remember, you want to rewrite it to help you. So I'm going to rewrite the number above it or below, doesn't matter, in the standard form to help me because it's just a little bit more efficient. So I have 213 ones. That means I have the number 200 and then 13 ones, which would make it 213. Then I have 100, 3 plus 100. Now this is a little tricky because it's out of order. So I like to rewrite it in the correct order. Now I can clearly see it's 103. And then here is my 924 in that standard form. So I'm going to order it again from least to greatest. So I want to find that digit in the hundreds place. So I have a two, I have the one, and the nine. So I have to see 200, 100, or 900. So 103 would go first because that's the least, and then I'm going to find the next higher number, which would be 213, and the last number, 924. Okay? So as you can see, it's least, and then it gets higher, and then it's the greatest. The highest number is last. Okay? Now we're going to do it the other way around. Now you're going to order the following numbers from greatest to least, so highest to lowest, other way around. When you're doing this, you still look at the hundreds, then you look at the digit in the tens place, and then you look at the digit in the ones place. Still the same thing, but this time you're looking for the highest number to be listed or ordered first. So it says order the following numbers from greatest to least, and I'm going to say in standard form again. You've got to recopy it in just standard form. Remember, this is an example of standard form, the way numbers are regularly written. So once again, I have five, 15 ones and seven hundreds, unit form. But also, this is tricky, again, because it's not in order. So I'm going to reorder it. Seven hundreds, I'll just write H for hundreds, and then 15 O 
for ones. So that number, I'm going to write it in standard form below to help me. 715. Now, 75 tens. I have groups of 10. I have 75 of them. I'm going to take the number 75 and write a zero at the end. Remember, that's the trick that I've taught you. When you have groups of 10 and you have a lot of them, you take 75 and you just add that zero at the end since um, that will give you the total value. And then 732. So once again, I gotta look to see what my digits are in the hundreds. And as you can see, this time I have seven in the hundreds in all three digits. So now I'm gonna move on to that tens place. I'm gonna circle it. I have a one in the tens place, a five in the tens place, and a three in the tens place. Now I can order them because those digits are not the same. So I wanna find greatest to least, highest to lowest. So the number that is the highest would be 750 because five tens is greater than three tens and one tens. Then the next higher, the next number that is lower is 732 because three tens is uh, lower than one, or actually, so three tens is next because one tens is last, if that makes sense. Okay, so it goes five, then three, then one. So 750, 732, 715. It goes greatest, then lower, and then the lowest or least. Okay, so now this is the last part of the lesson. You're going to have to compare the numbers using greater than, less than, or equal to. So you have three numbers. Okay, so this can be a little bit confusing. When you're doing this, like always, you're going to go from left to right, okay? And first, what I would do is you're going to look at this first part. So this is part one. And then you write the symbol, okay? The second part is right here. You're going to take 226 again, and you're going to compare that last part, okay? So let's look at the first part. 527 is, hmm, 226. Remember, once again, you got to look at that hundreds place. I have 500s and 200s. So 500s is greater than 226. You want to show that symbol to kind of like an alligator mouth, and you're going to eat up that higher digit. Okay? So this is greater than. Once again, you read it left to right. Okay? Now let's look at that second part, 226 and 934. So here I have two in the hundreds and nine in the hundreds. So this time it's actually going to be less than because 226 is lower than 937 because 200 is lower than 900. And you gotta eat up that higher digit, which is the 900s. Once again, you go from left to right. That's why it's less than. <coughs> Let's do it one more time. Excuse me. So here you might have a different form of the number. This is word form, expanded form, unit form. So like we've been doing in class, you need to rewrite it in standard form or also known as number form to help you. 605. So I'm going to rewrite that as 605. And then I'm going to rewrite this as 382. And then I'm going to write this as 62 tens, which is 620. So you go from left to right. Remember, the first part is here. And then you separate it. The second part is here. Okay? I like to draw the boxes just in case, but you can cover it up with your hand. Look at it like this. And then look at it like this. That might be an easy way too. So 605 is greater than 382 because remember, you want to look at that hundreds place and 600 is greater than 300s. Now let's look at that second part, 382 and 620. You look at that digit in the hundreds place, 300s is less than 620. So the trick to this part is just covering it up, the different parts. First, you want to cover up that last part to only focus on the first two numbers, and then you want to cover up the first part to only focus on the last two numbers. Remember, always read it left to right. And the main thing is looking at the hundreds, the tens, and then the ones to compare. Okay, 
that's it.